Today we have the all new GLC Coupe. This is the 2024 Mercedes Benz GLC 300 Formatic Coupe. In this video, I'll show you guys the exterior features. The interior and go on a trust drive is finished in this manufacture Patagonia Red Metallic. It's a $1,700 option. On the interior, we have MG Black exclusive leather for about $1,600. The MSRP on this all new GLC 300 Coupe is $57,000. But depending on the options you configure, the price goes up from there, which means that you can add the MG9 package or the driver assistance package as well as the color options and the interior options and the trims. Now for this specific GLC 300 Coupe, it's priced at $67,000. And uh, as you'd expect, it's a very comfortable ride. This interior looks similar to the GOC, to the Mercedes-Benz C300, by the way, the C-Class. Basically the same design, same 11.9 inch diagonal screen right here, which is fully touch screen as well, which has the second generation MBUX infotainment system, Mercedes-Benz navigation system overlaid on the entire map. So the screen is 11.9 inch diagonal, the digital instrument cluster is about 12.3 inches and uh, also so vibrant in this uh, configuration. Now this car has a 9-speed transmission and uh, gear changes feel so good. What I can tell you once you step into the car is it's a very comfortable seating for the driver here. We have memory seating, one, two, three, thigh support, lumbar support as well. We have side bolsters right here on this seat. And uh, this is premium quality leather right here with the gray contrast stitching. So the leather in this car will cost you about $1,600. So if you buy a GLC 300, the MSRP is $57,000. But based on the options you configure, and uh, I have the spec sheet right here. See, it says $67,000. The Patagonia Red Metallic is $1,750. MG Black Leather is $1,620. And uh, driver assistance package is $1,950. And then the MG body styling on this GLC is 2850 which offers you MG body styling, brush aluminum sport pedals with rubber studs, uh, MG floor mats, perforated discs with Mercedes-Benz bed calipers. You also get this flat bottom uh, steering wheel with the leather perforations on the side. It's, it's got a good grip on it and uh, part of shifters behind it this is all part of that um, MG body styling. It gives the car a very sporty appearance. You'll notice this metal weave design on the center console. I'd rather you spec this car in this metal weave design because if you get the black piano liquid trim, it's gonna, feel, it's gonna be a fingerprint as well as scratch magnet. But this will actually last longer than the black piano liquid trim. Or you can option the wood trim with the aluminum flowing lines. So that would be something much better. And uh, it's got a ton of power because it has a mild hybrid system, which means that um, once I adjust my side mirrors here, come on. That's one of those things. Side mirror is not very, it's gotta get used to that, the buttons. If you have, you can actually fat finger the, the keypad on the side mirrors so they, they don't really adjust properly. So that's user experience, uh, something I noticed here. But as I was mentioned before, the engine configuration, it's a, it has a 48 volt mild hybrid system, which means that this car has an integrated starter generator. That means that in, uh, if I press this button here, has an A, we have, uh, 
it has uh, start stop functions on traffic junctions like this one which helps you conserve fuel and also the ISG or the integrated starter generator adds an additional 23 horsepower with 148 pound foot of torque so it's a very fast drive experience so you can actually receive a ton of power right when you step on the gas very little turbo lag there is turbo lag but it's not as when this car didn't have an ISG uh, engine sounds uh, as you'd expect just it's a four-cylinder petrol engine other features you'd expect in your GLC the only GLC is uh, turbine inspired air vents right here and uh, they do have some haptic feedback you can hear that good airflow all around and also we have a uh, very soft leather upholstery up here this is very soft and uh, airbag systems at the top and uh, 64 colors ambient lights in the car hey Mercedes hello I'm Mercedes your voice assistant would you like to know more about what I can do for you yes Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Set ambient light to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. So this car has a voice assistant that uh, allows you to have hands-free access driving, so to speak. You can configure your driving directions, change the climate control systems, and so on and so forth. Overall, uh, the seats are... I think the seats are okay. They're, they're not that comfortable, but I think you, you gotta get used to adjusting the lumbar support and uh, side bolsters, which, by the way, if you press the many options here there's a comfort menu that allows you to adjust what is known as seat kinetics i'll set it here which now means i'll receive uh, side bolsters if i turn around corners and the lumper support is automatic so at the corner the seat leaned in sort of slightly forward and then eased off so it's pretty decent I think I just love how the center console actually sits higher it feels like it sits higher compared to the previous GOC I mean everything seems to be driver focused it's all the way up here I mean I'm 510 but everything is within reach other options in the MBUX infotainment we have uh, driving options active distance act assist is tronic, which means uh, semi-autonomous driving features the car can maintain uh, speed with the traffic ahead of you collision avoidance active brake assist active lane keeping assist and the active blind spot assist features traffic sign assist as well camera systems parking features vehicle options this car by the way has a number of dynamic options we have an eco mode, comfort, sport, and individual mode. I'm going to set it to the sport mode, which when I set it to sport mode, the seat right away, courtesy of seat kinetics, sort of adjusted to a more sporty configuration. So the seat sort of became tighter in some regards. And uh, light fixtures, headlamps, and the systems, all these are just fairly common options. There is an off-road menu in the all-new GLC. Let's you see the altitude, direction of travel, uh, compass as well. The info menu shows you the vehicle metrics, the driving behavior, accelerator, braking, engine metrics right here. You can look at the torque as well as the power in the all-new GLC.
it's got a ton of power and uh, feels quite good. I'm gonna switch the sun visor to the side because the sun is sort of baking my face. But overall, it's a it's a nice um, coupe. Other features we have: we have a climate menu right here. You can um, adjust the airflow as you prefer. Or set it to automatic right here. And uh, I believe as you add the temperature at night, you start to add the temperature, you get the 64 colors ambient lights turned to red. If you lower the temperature, it's gonna be like a blue or a purple color. I'm gonna turn that off. It's a fairly warm day today. Overall, I think it's a, it's a well-balanced car. This GLC competes with the likes of the Volvo XC60 and uh, I think for $57,000 you want to get the MG body styling as one option and uh, you'll be happy with that configuration. Overall, it's a good balanced coupe, drives just like a C-Class, same engine, just a difference in body styling and uh, it, it does fit a different demographic or uh, different comfort features. Alright, that's a look at the 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 formatic coupe. If you like this video, subscribe to Mercedes Lounge for weekly videos. And uh, until next time, stay positive. Peace.